Well, when was the last time that the Chief Minister was holed up inside his office as a result of which he was not able to step up? Well, that's exactly what has happened with the Meghalaya Chief Minister, Conrad Sandman. Now, what was happening was that there have been for long people who have been uh, uh, kind of protesting, uh, especially from the Garo Hills, that they had been demanding that the winter capital must also be shifted to Tura. And he was meeting representatives of various such organizations representing these people. Now, with the Chief Minister was, of course, his uh, few MLAs, there were officials as well. And he was having an amicable discussion with them. That's what we are being told by the state administration. And he also gave them a reassurance that their concerns will be addressed. And there would be a next round of meeting, which will take place in the first or second week of August, most probably 8th or 9th of August. And their concerns will be taken into account, whatever they had been agitating. What we were also told that there were a couple of handful of organizations and their representatives who were in this meeting with the chief minister. But suddenly outside of the venue, there was a lot of commotion, snow, sloganering, uh, protesters turning up there. And in fact, there was stone pelting also, which was taking place. Now, according to a local administration, these people who were doing this were actually from outside. To use the words of the state administration, they are not our people. But obviously, these are security concerns. And since the chief minister was inside, he was not allowed to step out. And he was holed up and for a very, very long time. It's a developing situation. And though a reassurance is going in from the state administration that the situation may be tense, but it's under control, chief minister is safe, so are the other officials who are with him safe. But this is something which is considered to be unprecedented that the chief minister had, was not able to move out because of the protests which were taking place outside. But for now, what we are being given an assurance that things are tense, uh, the situation is delicate, but completely under control. And whatever the concerns are there of the protesters who are in talks with the chief minister and negotiating with them, all those concerns will be addressed, not immediately, but at least at a later date, when there's going to be yet another round of meeting which is going to take place. The incident uh, that took place today in uh, Tura, uh, outside the CM Secretariat and the Commissioner of Division's office, uh, is uh, indeed very, very unfortunate. We had uh, discussed with uh, one or two of the groups and NGOs who had concerns and were having uh, fasting for the last uh, uh, many, many days. And uh, while uh, discussions were going on, uh, we had already agreed on uh, finally uh, meeting in Shillong uh, and discussing this further with all different stakeholders because the concerns that they have are affecting uh, many communities and affecting the overall state as a whole and hence uh, these kind of decisions require more consultation and uh, in the meantime of course other development aspects and other works that we have initiated those would uh, continue at a fast pace and th those matters were discussed and more or less uh, these uh, NGOs uh, who had these concerns uh, were more or less satisfied. And I also would like to stress that uh, majority of the stakeholders, civil society and the NGOs uh, were not part of this uh, fasting that took place. There were just two organizations or maximum three organizations that were in this, but 90% of the organizations were not part of this. So even then, I felt it appropriate and I've always believed that uh, dialogue is important and hence I made it a point to uh, meet them. And uh, that was the, what was decided. And uh, so while we discussed everything, after the uh, discussion was uh, almost over, uh, we heard some uh, agitation and some sloganing from outside. And uh, I asked some of the people to go and speak to the people and to their people and tell them to control and uh, not to create any kind of uh, scene out here.